All right, guys, today I have a test for you. Now, I did a video like this a while back, which all of you seem to love, so I guess I'm gonna keep up with this. So, in this little game, in this test that we're playing, I'm gonna ask you guys five questions, and there's gonna be a bonus question. You let me know, you know, what number you scored. So let's, let's say out of these five questions, you are three of five, right? You're gonna put down three of five. Like I got three of the five that could have possibly been one. And let's just see what, what, kind of, what kind of people we got watching these videos. Now, the second thing I'd like you to do, and I think this is gonna help a lot. I, if you guys don't know, I love the community. I love having everyone play with everyone, everyone just having a good time. So also, if you're looking for people to play zombies with, Put your gamer tag down in the description, plus what console you're on, so like PS4, Aaron 1 1, and then your score too. So people can, you know, sort through the list and see who they want to play with, but be honest on this. So let's go, let's jump right into the list. How about, how about we do this? Here are the five things only good zombie players do. So, number one, we have selfless and smart revives, right? So what do I mean by this? Selfless revives, that's when you're at the mystery box, someone just got a fire sale, you're hitting the box, next thing you know, your buddy goes down. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna continue to hit the box? Cause hey, it's a fire sale. Or are you gonna go straight to your teammate, revive them, make sure that they are living, help them get their perks, and then maybe they get a little taste of the fire cell. Maybe you get to go back and have some fun with the fire cell. So that's number one. If you, if that's you, if you're the person that just leaves the box alone, revives your teammate, mark a check down. You're, you're it. You're, you're number one, right? And the smart revive is like whenever your teammates like you know just died, the z tons of zombies around them. It doesn't mean you just go run up and instantly revive them. You got to run those zombies around. You know you got to make it smart. You can't let yourself die picking up your teammate. Although you know it's the heroic, team worthy thing to do. Uh, what good is it if you're both dead or, or everyone's dead in the game ends? So, so that's number one. If that if if you classify for that, well, good job. You you got a point, right? Next. Knows what door to keep shut. Now, listen. Knowing what door to keep shut, especially on this map, is different. Each, you know, each time that you play, it could be different. It just depends on your teammates and, and what strategy you want to do. Maybe you want to keep these stairs, like I have, closed. And, and the stairs on the back of the map closed. You want to keep the entire top section inaccessible, which that's the way I like playing solos on this map, that's what you do. So if you know what doors to keep shut and you know what happens when that door's open or that door's closed, mark a check down because you just got number two. Number three, this is a big one. And this is something I feel like PlayStation owners might have a little, you know, rougher time with than Xbox One. I just feel like Xbox One, people communicate better on, on Xbox. So number three is communication. You gotta, you you got to talk to your teammates, you know? you got to let them know what's happening. I like to, every time I feel like I'm about to go down, like, if I, like I could be in this corner and know, like, okay, in five seconds I'm going down. I'll just say, hey, guys, I'm about to go down, and either I make it and I don't go down, or at least they are alerted and they know that something is about to happen. They're, they're making their ways towards me. Maybe they can save me. Who knows? But communication is the big one. Communication is, is I, honestly, I would say... Above anything, the one thing that you need in zombies. Like multiplayer, you don't got to talk to your team. You just go and kill them. Zombies, communication, communication, guys. I know you've played public lobbies. <laughs> Haven't went far because they're just doing their own thing. And you're like, come on, dude, help. And <laughs> they're gone. They're gone. So that's number three. If, if you're a good communicator, mark you another check down. Next up at number four. We have weights to pick up the max ammo or fire cell, insta kill, double points, nuke, all that jazz. You gotta, and this, everything falls back to communication. Like, literally, everything I've said is, is strongly supported by communication. So just know that. That's how big of a deal communication is. But, like I said, weights to pick up max ammo. You gotta tell your teams, like, hey guys, I got a max. I'm counting you all. Five, four, three, two, one. And if you didn't know, the max ammo flashes, I don't have the exact time. I used to know the exact time and I would count the like seconds in my head. I was like, okay, I'm picking it up right now. I don't, it flashes and it flashes stronger than it's like gone. So you gotta, I don't know, I always like to throw out all the Gersh's, all the, all the monkeys, all the little Arnie's, all of those out just to make sure. I have nothing like that. All of the zombies are 
over there. You know, nukes, those you can kind of pick up double points. You can kind of pick up. Insta kills a little tricky one just because of the wonder weapon. Because, like, you know, if someone's standing in front of a horde and then they shoot the horde, then instantly there's an insta kill. It's like, oh man, I wish I would have known that. It's like, yeah, I've just been staring at it for like five minutes. So communicate, communicate with your team, let them know what's on the map. If you do that, if you tell your team, hey, there's a max ammo, hey, there's an insta kill, mark you another check down, you're at four or five. Let's go on to the fifth one. And this, this one's a little tricky because you could be playing with some other really good people, but I like to go by this, is the last person to go down on their team. Now, that could either be because you're, like, you're playing it safe and you're maybe you're not helping. But usually, if you're the last person to go down, that means you, you stayed up the longest. You, you've been on the map the longest. All the weight's on you, and you got to be able to handle that, right? Now, if you can clutch as the last person, let's say you're playing a four-player, all of the, everyone else, the three people, they're down. They're, they're dead in front of you. You see them. Are you going to clutch it, or are you just going to go around and do your own solo thing? That's something you got to think of. That's something you always have to think of when you're the last one alive. But let me know what you guys think. Um, oh, honestly, actually, let's get to that extra credit one, right? This is extra. If you get this, you can put down six of five, right? No, no, no six of six, because there's only five. You put down six of six if this is you. All right, six of five. <laughs> you put down six of five if this is you. Has all the map packs. I... It irritates me so much when people are like, Oh, Aaron, you want to play zombies? Like, sure. Like, let's play Derison Drag or let's play Kino. Like, oh, I only have Shadows of Evil. Please, please don't be that guy. <laughs> At least have the giant. <laughs> no, you got to have all the map packs. It, I mean, if you love zombies, there's no point. You know, they haven't made a bad map. You know, all the maps are good, you know, and I would say the probably my least favorite map just came with the game for free. So, you know, I didn't even have to buy that extra. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you guys are. Tell us, tell us your Xbox One, your PSN. Let us know who you are. Let me, let me, let's talk. Let's talk about it. If you're new here, subscribe. I'm going to be coming up with countless zombies content i've got a lot of map coverage um live streams if you guys missed my live stream from yesterday make sure to just hit notifications turn notifications on on this on this channel you know watch those live streams watch those zombies gameplays learn do what you do guys hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you are down below I, i'll tell you from this list i'm probably um i'm probably four out of four out of five actually i would be a five out of five because i'm counting the uh, extra credit the one that i kind of slack on is the the <laughs> selfless revives you know like especially when talking about the fire cell kind of hit me to heart like usually like i like staying at the fire cell because especially if there's other teammates on the map i know that they'll be revived you know i like okay yeah they'll go over there and get them i'm at my box i <laughs> I do that sometimes. I'm trying to get better. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace. Who doesn't want to see their name at the end of every video? Make sure to check out the Patreon link in the description if you would like to be a part of the club.